when you Today we're going to talk about how to cross over fiber optic cable. You run into the situation when you have a link and the cable manufacturers, instead of crossing the cables from end to end, they run them straight through. When you try to plug in, you take the transmit of one of these GBICs into the transmit of the other GBIC, and that's not going to work. You need to take this transmit from here into the receive on the other side of the port here. This is a uh, Cisco SFP GBIC and this is a the old style SC GBIC and the naming the LC stands for the connector and the SC stands for these larger connectors which are much substantially larger than the other ones. In this case where we have this LC connector going into an SC GBIC if the fibers were reversed, all we have to do is just pull the fibers out, crisscross them, and put them back in, and then we should establish link as long as both ports are up. Another scenario you might have is this may be LC on this side, in which case you have an LC to an LC jumper. To, to cross over these fibers, you have to take the fiber connectors out of the holding bracket and crisscross them manually. And the way to do that is locate how the connectors are put together. In this case, they're split on the bottom, so the fibers will actually come out of the bottom of the holding bracket. And you just use your nail or a small screwdriver, and you could just pull the fiber out. And you do so with the other one. being careful not to bend the fiber too much so you don't break it and then you just reattach the bracket to the fiber make sure it's seated properly and in this case the locking tab on the connector itself has to go under the locking tab of the holding bracket and I'll do the same on the other side I'll slide that in and I hear a click and they're both fibers are equal and they're both square on the on the face and they should plug right in and that's a way to effectively cross over an LC connector another problem you may run into is you may have a different type of holding bracket on the SC side in this case this has it split on the side holding bracket so the way to get the fiber out is to gently work it out on each side. Do so on the other fiber. And carefully note the orientation so that when you pull this out, in case you drop this, you're able to make sure that you're actually crossing the fibers and not putting them back into their original positions. And then just by opening this connector a little bit it didn't go in there right you could see this this little ridge that needs to go in into the connector here take the other fiber and make sure you orientate the tabs the same way and then that effectively crosses over this fiber cable sometimes the fiber will have a mechanical uh, locking connector that holds the two fibers together in this case they slide apart and then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the fibers from this orientation to the other. Now, you don't necessarily have to take these apart, but if you have to, that's how you take them apart because when you 
you have to make sure that your locking tabs are crisscrossed when you, whenever you cross the fiber. So they're going to crisscross like this, so you're no longer going to be able to use the locking tabs in this instance. And that's the way that you cross over the fibers in case you have a, um, effectively what we would call a fiber duplex mismatch where you're taking the transmit into the transmit and the receive into the receive.